Hello and welcome everyone to episode 404 of Stadium Comics Unboxing Wednesdays for comics coming out on July 25th, 2018. Hmm. Well, that was weird. I wonder what that was. <laughs> yeah. That was really strange. Uh, episode 404 is starting out very odd. Get 404 computer stuff. Anyways, I want to talk about something that happened today. So Kevin came in and he's like, Doug, I'm ready to film. And I was like, I'm ready for you to film too. And then something weird happened and his, his head started spinning and sparks started flying out of his face. I don't know what was happening. It was crazy, man. And, uh, and then he blew up. So... Yep, yeah, he had an internal 404 error in his brain and he exploded. So nothing I could do about that. You know, Kevin Hickey, uh, he was a robot this whole time and he has died. So, sorry guys, Unboxing Wednesday is done. Episode 404 has ruined it because of this computer virus. <laughs> but luckily in the explosion, I was able to find his core memory chip. That's right, the Kevin Hickey memory chip. And so what I did is I implanted it into a deep AI learning algorithm and it uh, recreated all of Kevin Hickey's little nuances and little things and we're able to save this episode. So Kevin Hickey, rest in peace. May he RIP forever. Um, but thanks to the algorithm and Google's deep AI learning, uh, we got some deep fakes of Kevin Hickey. So please enjoy those and uh, view him in his AI glory. All right, everyone, I just want to remind you before we get to all the awesome comics that uh, we've got some exclusives available on our website, stadiumcomics.com. Some of the images you might have seen posted out there on the internet, you might have seen these images and these items up for sale in places like eBay for ungodly amounts of money, uh, but we can still order them right from stadiumcomics.com, direct from the source, uh, it's our Amazing Spider-Man number one exclusive cover. It's our Transformers Unicron uh, number one exclusive cover. And our Archie Super Teens vs. Crusaders uh, exclusive cover two-pack set. Um, you can uh, order these from StadiumComics.com as I said. Just a note out there for those of you waiting for the Amazing Spider-Man book to ship uh, on pre-order. Uh, we are having a little bit of a delay. Uh, we pr promised to get it out um, within five business days of the 18th of July. Uh, it's taking us a couple more days. Literally have, um, you know, a thousand or so packages that we had to send out and a very small team here. Um, so we're working through it. We've got, um, most of the books have either shipped or are very close to being shipped. We've been working around the clock. It's been a very, very exhausting process. A lot of late nights, a lot of um, getting tape, packing tape stuck to ourselves in uh, very unfortunate positions. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun though. And I uh, just really want to thank everybody for their patience with waiting for these awesome books. We've gotten a lot of great feedback from those of you out there who have received the books already. Uh, and yeah, we expect to get through the rest of the orders uh, in a very short amount of time. So uh, thanks again for all your patience with that book. First up today is Saga, issue number 54. It was just announced today that Saga will be taking a year-long hiatus coming soon. Eden, number one from Alterna Comics. The New World, issue number one from Image Comics and the uh, Minds of Alish Cott and Trad Moore. Uh, this takes a look at a post-nuclear United States. Sonic the Hedgehog number seven with this awesome foil cover. And here is the variant cover. Here's Hit Girl issue six, Shanghai Red number two, Redneck number 13, Transformers Unicron issue number two. And here's Bumblebee issue two. We've got two covers for this book. This is the official prequel to the upcoming Transformers movie. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 84 and Rick and Morty number 40. Moving on to DC Comics, we've got Silencer issue number 7. We've got Teen Titans number 20. It's the Teen Titans variant. Flash issue number 51. Amazing Flash variant. 
We've got the DC Comics Beach Blanket Bad Guys Summer Special. This is an anthology of villain stories uh, from some of DC's coolest uh, creators. Make sure you pick this one up today. It's a beautiful cover for Wonder Woman issue number 51 by the very talented Art Germ. Aquaman 38 features this awesome Joshua Middleton variant. Detective Comics 985 features this awesome Batman variant. And we've got two awesome Gary Frank covers for the long-awaited Doomsday Clock issue number 6 of 12. Here's Action Comics issue 1001 with beautiful variants for, uh, for this book by David Mack and Francis Manipal. And finally from DC today we have Justice League Dark issue number one making its return to DC Comics uh, featuring the Champions of Magic. And here is the variant cover for that book. It's variants by Greg Capullo. Very cool. Okay moving on to Marvel we've got some uh, San Diego Comic Con variants to show you. These are uh, previews exclusive San Diego Comic Con variants and uh, these, this particular one's limited to 4,000 copies. This is a variant for Amazing Spider-Man issue number one. We've got the same for Deadpool issue number one and Captain America number one. We've got some more Fantastic Four True Believers books. These are one dollar reprints of classic Marvel stories. We've got Fantastic Four Birth of Valeria, the new Fantastic Four versus the Fantastic Four, and what if Spider-Man joined the Fantastic Four. We've got more of the awesome work of Ed Pisker in X-Men Grand Design Second Genesis issue one. This is the regular cover and we've also got these two variant covers for this issue. Love the art style in this book. It's so cool and I love how all the whites are really highlighted. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to pick one of these up, uh, you just might want to when you go into the shop uh, today and uh, I strongly encourage you to buy it. It's pretty cool. Got a second printing of The Weeknd's Starboy. This was a popular book when it was released at cons last year, a popular book when it was released this year in comic shops just a few weeks ago and I'm sure it will remain a popular book today. We've got a second printing of Avengers issue number three, a second printing of Amazing Spider-Man 801 with this awesome Marcos Martin cover, and a second printing of Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Let's not forget Thor. We've got a second printing of Thor number one as well. New on shelves today is Wakanda Forever, the X-Men version. This is X-Men Wakanda Forever number one. Uh, previously we had Amazing Spider-Man Wakanda Forever number one. Here's the regular cover, and there's your variant. Multiple Man issue number two, Old Man Logan number 44, X-Men Blue number 32, Hunt for Wolverine Mystery in Madripoor issue number three, Old Man Hawkeye number two. I should mention that this is a third printing of uh, this book, and it's got an awesome Venom cover. Speaking of Venom, here's Venom issue number four, Sentry issue number two, X-23 number two. It's the San Diego Comic-Con variant of X-23 number one. Amazing Spider-Man issue two by Nick Spencer and Ryan Otley. A lot of optimism after the first issue of this creative pair's uh, foray into the web slinger. Um, and uh, a lot of optimism going into this book as well. Okay, Infinity Wars Prime. If you're looking for a book with a shocking ending this week, this is the book you want to pick up. Um, yeah, I really can't say more about it than that. Um, it'll probably be spoiled on Bleeding Cool or one of those sites uh, before this video airs, but um, yeah, yeah. Uh, interesting stuff in this book and really curious to see what it means for the future of Marvel Comics. And then finally from Marvel we have the formerly, uh, the book formerly known as X Classified number one. Uh, now known as Mr. and Mrs. X, number one. Of course, referring to Gambit and Rogue. This is the regular cover. This is the Scotty Young cover. And this is the Umberto Ramos variant. That AI stuff's pretty realistic, eh? You couldn't even tell it wasn't Kevin. That was like, uh, that was an AI, clearly. I mean, obviously. And, uh, but it looked just like Kevin, acted just like Kevin. I no longer feel alone and saddened by Kevin's demise because I know that the AI is there to come for me. So the AI will now pay my bills for me and he will do everything that Kevin used to do such as make fun of me and uh, bring down my self-esteem. So 
Thanks, computer AI. But let's move on to the prizes for this week. Uh, last week I asked you what you're excited for for uh, San Diego Comic Con. Got some pretty awesome answers. Jack Skinner 97 said, "Pumped for everything San Diego Comic Con is one giant hype fest, and I'm ready for it all." You're just ready. You're just sitting there ready. Uh, Stephen Vera Sammy said, "I'm most excited for the Daredevil season three trailer. Devil, Daredevil is one of the coolest Marvel characters, and I love how well they've done his series." Fantastic stuff. I don't think they released a Daredevil Season 3 trailer. Sorry, Stephen Barry Sammy. Uh, it was mainly Iron Fist, and I believe Teen Titans had one, or Titans. The one where Robin is like, cusses out Batman. That was strange. Come on, what was that? That was so weird. Um, what else did they release in terms of shows? Eh, I think it's, there's probably more, guys. And an Aquaman trailer, that was pretty dope. Godzilla trailer was pretty cool. Um, that Godzilla trailer, I don't know about that, man. That Godzilla trailer was a little weird. Like, where are all the monsters back again? Like, and why is the girl from Stranger Things there? I feel like anytime someone is like popular, they're just like, throw them in the next Godzilla movie. <laughs> I don't know. But the winner goes to Bradley Gill for Keeping Hope. Uh, Bradley Gill said, Cosmic Ghost Rider animated movie trailer. Uh, sadly, that didn't happen, but you kept hope, man. And you wanted it to happen, but it just didn't happen. Hopefully soon. I think I'm going to give it to you because I think that's what everyone wants to see, is a Cosmic Ghost Rider animated series. Um, Kevin showed the uh, reprint of the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That, I believe, is Ke uh, Dylan Burnett's first ever Marvel cover. So, congratulations, Dylan Burnett. I'm getting a Marvel cover. And congratulations to you, Riley Gill, for being entered into the draw. That'll be happening right this instant. I tried to get uh, I tried to get Kevin AI to help uh, with the draws today, but there was a 404 error and he exploded again. So, man, that sucks. Kevin's just exploding all the time. Anyways, uh, we're gonna do the draw. I'm gonna leave the box here. I always feel like. Maybe people don't think the draws are like real because there's like cuts and stuff. That's just to avoid all the boring stuff. So uh, I'm gonna try and keep this as one single shot, no cuts whatsoever. So Bradley Gill's going in there, Bradley Gill. Uh, we had a uh, introspective dude who wanted a uh, reboot with an 80s wrestling spin for Stadium Comics. Mike Irish who had the Sixth Sense spoiled for him at his work. Sorry, dude. And the Ardani, who was surprised by the afterlife with Archie. So they're all going to go in there. No cuts, because this is real life. This is going to go, this is going to go, this is going to go like this. And we're going to draw this. The winner is Introspective Dude with his comment about the 80s wrestling. So congratulations, Introspective Dude. Uh, send your information to info at comicboxer.com and we'll get those comic boxer boxes out to you as soon as possible. All right, for this week's question, instead of talking about what you're going to be excited for for San Diego Comic Con, let's talk about what you are excited for. That was announced at San Diego Comic Con. just happened last week. A lot of cool stuff came out. I think I'm most excited for that Shazam trailer. Finally, DC is like, you know what, let's have a little bit of fun. And easily they could have took Shazam and made him dark and serious, made him like a Superman thing. But uh, they didn't, and I think it looks really cool, man. I think, I think it looks really interesting with the whole Billy Batson kind of being a kid, but also an adult at the same time. So I'm excited to see it. And I like, when they showed his costume at first, like, like little shots, I thought it looked really cheesy and like crappy. But now that you see the trailer, it's kind of the point, you know what I mean? Because he's like this grown-up over-the-top superhero. It's fantastic. I love it. So let us know what excited you most from all the announcements from San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, maybe X-Men Black. That was pretty cool. I'm excited for that, too. X-Men Black, man. It's going to be all the villains and their stories. And Magneto's so cool. Anyways, let us know in the comments what you are excited for that was announced from San Diego Comic-Con. Best answer will be entered into the draw that will be happening at the end of August. All right, so that was my first attempt at uh, computer... AIs. We got some pretty interesting results from uh, Kevin's AI uh, bot that we put out there. But you know what? I think it worked out. I think it worked out pretty good. 
So uh, congratulations Kevin Hickey, you'll live on forever now that you're a computer AI algorithm. And uh, maybe you could go and surf the net uh, just like your brain. Like you don't need fingers, you just no 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 no. That'd be pretty cool. I'd like to do that. Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Um, be sure to follow the links you see below on all our social medias. Uh, be sure to go to LimePressOnline.com, guys. That's my web store where I'm selling my comics. There's some pretty cool stuff there, guys. Look at my eyes. some really cool stuff. Please check it out. Some cool stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah. Have a great day. Enjoy all your comics, and we'll see you next week for episode 405 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Thank you.